so someone asked the question about can you explain the question number one of the id which i given you about the genetics so this question is pharmacological researchers develop a novel alkalinating chemotherapy agent against the glioblastoma multiform and what they find that the malignant cells they cause methylation of the promoter region for the o methyl guanine dna methyl transferase that is your mgmt gene right so this is methylated and they said those cells are more susceptible to this drug what drug alkylating chemotherapeutic drug then the cell without methylation right and they ask you what is this gene making the protein uh, like if this is, gene is making the protein what is function of that protein right that you have to choose so first they have made two type of cells right one cells they see without methylation and one cells which have the methylation right as we told we read about that when you ever you methyl related dna or the gene that gene become mute right that gene become mute so that's why one thing you are clear over here that question is what is the function of that protein right so for uh, answer is repairing of the dna damage now i will tell you how this function is repairing of the dna damage so first i need to read this option with you guys that what is happening that a in in the part of oncogenesis they show you that glioblastoma it methylate the cpg region adjacent to this gene so right so they mu, uh, methylate this gene right so what is happening this gene basically form a protein that repair the damaged dna right that is the basic concept so they repair the dna what is the repair dna uh, how it repair it causes conversion of o methyl guanine a naturally occurring alkylation product back to guanine so methyl guanine like it attaches a methyl group if this gene is working it make a protein which remove this methyl group and convert the guanine into normal guanine methyl guanine into normal guanine and that by it correcting the damaged dna right however in this multiform glioblastoma multiform cells they do what they silence this gene right they silence this gene so what will be happen the protein will be not synthesized if protein will be not synthesized the repairing of the dna will be not happen so that is what the cancer cells want they want to drive the growth they don't want that the gene will uh, the protein will check the damaged dna and then it will allow the cell to go into the growth or it go into the apoptosis so they basically mute this genes right so that is, that's why the dna mutation which drive to the cancer growth now what would be happen it makes the cells more susceptible to the alkylating chemotherapy which they are using in this case tamazolomide because since alkylating agent causes the dna damage right you giving the chemotherapy to the cells now they causes the damage of the dna but you have mute this gene yeah you have methylated that gene so no protein is available so that damage dna is not uh, corrected that is the basic mechanism now what is happen that cell will be damaged right that's why they're saying when the gene is methylated they become more susceptible to the chemotherapy compared to the gene which have which don't have methylation so if this is not methylated then you have the mechanism to repair the dna damage right now if you give the this chemotherapy to a, to a cell which don't have methylation of this gene so this gene will automatically form a protein which repair the damaged dna this damaged dna is formed by the alkylating chemotherapy that's why they are saying the cell without methylation they are less susceptible because they have the protein so whenever chemotherapy damage that dna they will correct this damaged dna right that is the mechanism so now how you can exclude the option induction of the apoptosis right so what is the induction of the apoptosis mean they are saying if this protein will be induction causes a induction let's say methyl they are causing this gene methylation so you are not making the protein now if you say if they give you the option induction of apoptosis so what would be happen if a induction of apoptosis would be the answer right would be the answer then this chemotherapy will not kill that cell right will not uh, will kill that cell right so if if this would be the option induction of apoptosis right so if this gene causes induction of the apoptosis then why the cells which don't have methylation didn't go undergo apoptosis right because their gene is active so if their gene is active these cells which don't have methylation they undergo the apoptosis that is not the case now reducing the major histocompatibility complex all the genes basically the cancer cell mostly causes reduce this complex to be present on the surface of the cell because they escape the immune system of the body they don't want 
that these cells will be recognized by the immune system and go undergo uh, like killing mechanism and all that you know that thing right the third fourth one is upregulation of the telomerase if this protein will be causes upregulation of the telomerase that will be prevent the loss of the genetic material but this protein function should be something like that that it prevent the repairing of the DNA damage. That's why, let me read this option again with you guys, D option, okay. Increased telomerase activity help promoter, help promote cancer cell longevity, right? That is the case. Incre telomerase activity is frequently increased in the tumor, right? That is what the upregulation of the telomerase activity is happening in case of the cancers because cancer wants the cells to be survive, right? Over here, the drug is susceptible to the uh, gene which is methylated. So that is the only answer. Hope this will be help uh, somebody who asked the question.